Hello guys, air pollution leads to global warming, which consequently results in the melting of polar ice caps and the subsequent rise in sea levels. This event causes various dry land areas to be submerged underwater. In this video, I intend to introduce 15 cities that are likely to be submerged in the 2030. Please comment on which city you would choose to save if you could rescue only one and why. Please subscribe, let's go! Amsterdam Netherlands. Amsterdam is the capital city of the Netherlands known for its artistic heritage. Elaborate canal system and narrow houses with gabled facades. The population of this city is approximately 872,000. There's a reason they're called the Low Countries. Amsterdam and the cities of Rotterdam and The Hague sit low, flat and close to the North Sea. The Dutch are famed for their flood defenses and looking at these sea level projections, it seems the country's system of dikes, dams, barriers, levees and floodgates will become even more essential in the years to come. New Orleans, USA New Orleans is a city in Louisiana known for its vibrant music scene, distinct Creole culture, and annual Mardi Gras festival. The population of this city is approximately 390. Zero. The city's system of levees that protects it from the swarm of red building up from Lake Maurepas in the north and from Lake Salvador and Little Lake in the south, without those defenses, New Orleans would be severely threatened by rising sea levels, but even with them, the damage looks catastrophic, the Biloxi and Jean Lafitte wildlife preserves look particularly vulnerable. On the map both appear almost totally submerged. Venice. Italy. Venice is a city in northeastern Italy known for its beautiful canals, historic architecture, and art scene. The population of this city is approximately 260,000. In the very near future, Venice faces a twin threat. Sea levels are rising and the city itself is sinking by 2 millimeters every year. The Venetian capital has already been hit by severe flooding, and climate change is likely to increase the frequency of high tides that submerge it like New Orleans. Venice has a system of flood defense systems in place, but as the crisis worsens, these will be more difficult and expensive to maintain. Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon, is the largest city in Vietnam. Famous for its French colonial landmarks and bustling markets, the population of this city is approximately 8.4 million. That the areas most at risk in Ho Chi Minh City are its eastern districts, particularly the flat, heavily built up marshland of the Theo. But it also looks like the city will be increasingly threatened along the Mekong Delta, while the center of Ho Chi Minh City itself is unlikely to find itself underwater by 2030. It will almost certainly be more vulnerable to flooding and tropical storms. Kolkata, India. Kolkata is a cultural hub in eastern India famous for its colonial architecture, vibrant festivals, and literary heritage. The population of this city is approximately 14.8 million. Much of West Bengal has thrived for centuries because of its fertile landscape, but that has become great cause for concern in Kolkata and its surroundings, like Ho Chi Minh City. The city could struggle during monsoon season, as rainwater has less land to run off into. This map of the potential situation in 2100 is even more concerning. Bangkok, Thailand. Bangkok is the capital land, largest city of Thailand, known for its ornate temples, vibrant street life, and bustling markets. The population of this city is approximately 10.5 million. The Thai capital sits just 1.5 meters above sea level land. Like Venice, it's sinking, but Bangkok is also built on very dense clay soil, which makes it even more prone to flooding. By 2030, most of the coastal the Kaman Samet Prakan areas could be underwater, as could its main airport, Suvarnabhumi International. Georgetown, Guyana. Georgetown is the capital city of Guyana, located on the Atlantic coast. Known for its British, colonial architecture and diverse population, the population of this city is approximately 235. Zero. For centuries, Guyana's capital Georgetown has relied on sea walls, or, more accurately, one gigantic, 280-mile-long sea wall for protection from storms. That's because most of the coastline is between 0.5 and 1 meter below high tide. Some 90% of Guyana's population lives on the coast, 
And as you can see, the country will need to substantially bolster its seawall if Georgetown central areas are to avoid massive damage. Savannah, USA Savannah, is a historic city in the state of Georgia known for its well-preserved architecture, cobblestone streets, and rich cultural history. The population of this city is approximately 146. Zero. The city of Savannah. Georgia sits in a hurricane hotspot, but even without extreme weather events, the historic city could see land swallowed up by the sea on all sides. The Savannah River in the north and Ogeechee River in the south could both spill out into the nearby marshland, meaning that when hurricanes and flash floods to hit the city, the effects may be even more severe. Nagoya, Japan. Nagoya is the largest city in the Chuba region of Japan, famous for its automotive industry, historical sites, and modern architecture. The population of this city is approximately 2.3 million, from Chiba to Osaka. The built-up nature of some coastal Japanese cities makes them vulnerable to rising sea levels, especially during typhoon season, usually May to October. Most are well equipped to deal with this sort of stuff, but the industrial port of Nagoya, Japan's fourth largest city, might have some big problems. Stemming from the Nagara and Kisa rivers, the map shows that the western parts of the city could find themselves below the tide line. Mail. Maldives. Mail is the capital city of the Maldives, situated on an island in the Indian Ocean. Known for its colorful buildings, mosques, and markets, the population of this city is approximately 215,879. Indian Ocean Island country the Maldives has been aware of the threat of rising sea levels for quite some time. The nation has even apparently begun building a floating city to deal with it, as it stands. It isn't so much the Maldivan capital mail itself that is at risk but its infrastructure and surrounding islands, from the airport to much of the island of Hulhumail. Rising tide levels pose a serious problem. Dandong, China. Dandong is a city in northeastern China, located on the border with North Korea, known for its trade activity and views of the Yalu River. The population of this city is approximately 865,600. Dandong might not be one of the most popular destinations for visitors to China, but it's still pretty huge. Over 2 million people live in this northeastern city on the Yalu River, which looks out over to North Korea. On the map, the potential below tide level area in Dandong stretches from the smaller city of Donggang all the way up the Yalu. Port Said, Egypt. Port Said is a city in northeastern Egypt situated on the Mediterranean Sea. Known for its strategic location at the northern entrance of the Suez Canal, the population of this city is approximately 667,000. When it comes to the northeastern coastal, Egyptian city of Port said, it isn't just the city itself that is under threat from rising tide levels, while the west of the city so do vast areas of land just below the city. The local government has already begun to build barriers out of sand and concrete so that farmers don't lose land and crops to salt water. Flooding. Bandramasin, Indonesia. Bandramasin is a city in Indonesia located on the island of Borneo. Known for its riverside markets, floating markets, and diverse culture, the population of this city is approximately 740,000. The Indonesian city of Bandramasin is built largely below sea level on a swampy delta near the Brita River, which climate central shows is set to regularly burst its banks by 2030, as well as being known as the city of thousand rivers. Kulno, Bangladesh. Kulma is a city in southern Bangladesh, located on the banks of the Rupture River. Known for its shrimp processing and textile industries, the population of this city is approximately 663,342. Bangladesh's third largest city Kulm is just 9 meters above sea level, as shown by 2021's devastating floods. Much of the country is vulnerable to extreme flooding, and according to Climate Central, Kulm seems even more at risk. Basra, Iraq. Basra is a port city in southern Iraq serving as a major hub for oil exports and trade in the region. The population of this city is approximately 2.5 million. Iraq's main port city of Basra lies on the Shat al-Arab, an enormous and wide river that feeds into the Persian Gulf. Due to its intricate network of canals and streams, as well as neighboring marshland, Basra and its surrounding areas are especially vulnerable to a rise in sea levels, 
And as if that wasn't worrying enough, Basra already suffers significantly from waterborne diseases, so increased flooding carries even more significant threats. 